Hello, my name is Russell Singer with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will demonstrate for you how to import SSL certificates from the Avaya Aura System Manager into the Avaya Aura Conferencing 7.0 system for assignment to various network elements. This procedure will allow you to enable SSL single sign-on between System Manager and AAC7. In addition, it will also allow you to create TLS or secure links between AAC7 components and the Avaya Aura Session Manager. Now, as you can see, we're starting off from the Avaya Aura System Manager 6.2 interface. And from here, the first thing we're going to do is verify that we have an enrollment password set. The enrollment password is what the Avaya Aura conferencing system will use to retrieve the SSL certificate from System Manager. So we first need to verify that one is set and valid, and then we can later use that password in the Avaya Aura conferencing system to retrieve the certificates. From this interface, we'll start off by selecting the security option, which is under the services category or the services menu on the right hand side of the interface. Then we need to select the certificates option from this menu. And there you see clearly listed the enrollment password option. So we'll go ahead and select that now. Now, as you can see on my interface here, there is an existing password set, it's admin01. There's also a time remaining that is valid for that password. So keep in mind that these passwords do expire after a certain amount of time, and the maximum amount of time that you can set for a new password is four weeks. So assuming this has expired, we'll go ahead and set a new password. So for the password expires in, I will choose four weeks. And the password that I want to create, I'm going to use a very simple password here, just admin01 again. This is the same password that is already set, but that's fine. There's no restriction in reusing that password. Once that's done, I will click the commit button. You do not want to click the generate button because that will generate a random password and overwrite the admin01 that you just entered. So instead, we'll collect, uh, click the commit button on the right-hand side of the screen. Now once that is done, our enrollment password is set and the time remaining is set to essentially four weeks. So now we're ready to go over to our conferencing system and for this procedure you do need to be in the Element Manager console, which is what I already have open here. From the Element Manager console you'll want to go to the security menu on the left. Then you'll want to open the certificate management folder that's under the security folder there. And you're going to select the option that says Enrollment Request. Now for the logical name, you can go ahead and enter any name you like here, but I would recommend entering a name that will help you to associate the certificate that you're going to load using this procedure with the network element that you'll later assign the certificate to. So in my case, I know that this certificate I'm going to load will be assigned to the Provisioning Manager network element of AAC7. So because of that, I'll go ahead and just name it something I can identify that by. Uh, I'll name it AAC7 underscore prov. The bit length does need to stay the default, the 1024. The common name should actually be the host name or the IP address that's assigned to the network element, the AAC7 network element that you'll be assigning this loaded certificate to. So again, in my case, I know I'm going to assign this certificate to the AAC7 provisioning manager, and therefore I'll use the host name that I've given to that server, the AAC7 provisioning manager. And in my case, it's a very simple host name. It's aac7-sin.rv.avaya.com. If I were loading this certificate for, let's say, the Aura conferencing web conferencing server element, then I would use the host name for that uh, network element instead of the host name that you see here on the screen. And then the enrollment password is very simply what we set on the system manager screen in the previous step. So once you click submit, chances are that you are prompted with a CA authentication warning here, just letting you know that you're going to add this certificate with a specific thumbprint as 
a trusted certificate on the system. So you would go ahead and select apply. You could also view the details here if you needed to. And once you do that, after waiting a couple of seconds, you'll notice that both the certificate warning as well as the certificate enrollment screen both disappear, which indicates that the certificate has been successfully loaded. But we'll go ahead and confirm that now. To start off, you can click the key store option, which is right under the enrollment request option on the left-hand side of your screen. This will pop up a box that lists all of the loaded key stores or certificates that are trusted by AAC7. And you can see that besides the default certificate, we also now trust the AAC7 underscore prov certificate that we just loaded using the enrollment request. And you also notice there when you look at the issued to field that as part of that common name structure, you do see the host name that we entered during the enrollment request. So we can identify that this is for the AAC7 provisioning manager element. And that's really all you need to do to import certificates from System Manager to the Avaya Aura Conferencing 7.0 system. This same procedure can be used to import certificates from System Manager for any of the Avaya Aura Conferencing 7.0 network elements. Thank you for your time today. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.